Now, why would someone who likes EVs and has EV conversions and a modified Tesla need an exhaust? Well, we're actually at Top Gear because they offer a speaker exhaust system called Thor. I met the guys at NEC Autosport a couple of years ago. And at the time I was thinking that, you know, having a speaker exhaust, it's a bit naff, not really sure about that. But since driving a couple of electric BMWs, also the Hyundai Ionic N, I felt that actually having the feedback of noise on an electric car when you're a bit of a petrol head is actually quite nice. So let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Harry, can you tell us a little bit about these boxes and yeah, what's going on? A speaker yeah. exhaust system for a Tesla. So we've got here, we've got a four electronic sound system. If we open her up here. Included, we have the main speaker head. This is what makes the actual noise for the speaker. We've got our marine speaker inside there. This here mounts to the bottom of the car using our universal fitment brackets. These aren't just fitted to electric cars. People fit them to all sorts of cars, yeah. don't they? EV diesel, petrol. I have one fitted to my old uh, one litre Volkswagen Polo. I mean, the great thing with the Teslas as well, they have these different uh, electrical noises as well. So yeah. there's a transformer noise or a super spaceship. You've got the option of one speaker, but we've got two speakers here. Yeah. Um, so if the people have watched my previous video, Ian has got the double speaker system. So there's another one here and we've got some custom tailpipes uh, just over there and they're gonna be coming out of the under tray so the sound comes out outside a lot better. But this is something new. Harry, tell me about this. What's this all about? So this here is a echo speaker. It okay. essentially is a high note speaker compared to these speakers here. They're, these are low note bass speakers. Okay. This one here is a high note speaker, meaning that when you have these two connected together, the contrast of the different pitches of the sound increases the realism of the sound. The crossover kit here as well, because uh, you need this one here to match it all together. Top Gear are going to get that fitted to Rusty today. So we're going to record the process and the progress. And yeah, very much looking forward to it. So the guys are now taking the trim off at the back. Essentially, it's about getting to that boot floor to be able to get access to the under tray and then running the wires into the middle where uh, the modules of the system are going to be. The great thing about these exhausts is you can put your mouth over them and you won't die. <laughs> so just removing the rear under tray now, because the rear under tray will need the holes for the, the pipes, which are actually over here, because these pipes are essentially gonna be connected to the speakers and then coming out at the bottom there. While I'm here, I might as well show you the new plastic under tray which was fitted more recently unfortunately there's a bit of an issue with this section here because where it flew off uh, the connection for the bolt uh, is gone so it's cable tied at the moment it's something i need to take back to tesla but yeah it's a lot more durable than the cardboard one that was here before So just fitting the bracket to one of the speakers here to enable the fitting to the bottom of the Tesla. Now the under tray is off, the speakers are going in that section there and that section there. It's quite handy that there's space to put them there. I've just realized since uh, we've taken the rear under tray off that 
Rusty actually has a uh, tow bar fitting, which is actually an option. The guys are really getting on with it. It's a really interesting process actually. And um, yeah, once the actual main speakers are fitted, it'd be really interesting to see how they get it connected to the CAN bus. The exhaust is now floating. So they're just measuring up appropriate holes to cut into the rear under tray. Because essentially, when the speakers are up in there, if the under tray is there and you haven't got the holes for the custom tailpipes that Top Gear have made, then you're not gonna hear very much. And ultimately, when you're spending this kind of money, on a speaker exhaust system, you want to hear it. I am interested to see where this Echo speaker goes. Just measuring up now for the second speaker. Look at them, they look really cool, don't they? Now, silver cans at the back there. So the bracket for the second speaker has now been fitted and we're just getting that connected just now, as you can see. And then we'll be fitting the Echo speaker in the same place, which is just there. Trevor's just gonna take us through the wiring. So um, yeah, we've got a few wires here going into each speaker. Can you just take us through what's what? The blue and whites are speaker wires. Yep. So one goes to the crossover for the Echo. Yep. Uh, and from the uh, crossover unit of the Echo, we've got two speaker wires, one going to the Echo, one to one of the main speakers. Yeah. That goes to the other main speaker. We have a power and a ground and can high and can low. And what have we got? Can high and can low. Well, that's where it gets all the information for speed, load. The four unit actually interprets that and then produces the sound. The custom tailpipes that connect to the speakers have now been made and uh, they're just getting fitted as we speak. As you can see, this one has already been fitted. I do absolutely love the way that these uh, tailpipes are just sticking out. Just, just on show, it's really quite cool. I'm absolutely loving that. Unfortunately, the tailpipes aren't gonna be sticking out. No, uh, <laughs> not quite as much as they were earlier, but it was quite cool to see them sticking out. Tailpipes have been chopped to size to make sure they don't stick out too much. Trevor is now in the car, sorting out the power and the ground for the system. So just plug the module in, just making sure that the power works and the green light is flashing, we're working. So we're now taking the CAN bus wiring underneath the carpet to connect to the car. Just had a little pause from the fitting of the kit because I've got Steve Kilcoyne here who is the owner of the business. Steve, thank you so much for inviting us down uh, for the exhaust on the Tesla. Really excited about getting it going. Top Gear's been going on for a while. A lot of people will know it's the PowerFlow uh, brand. So Top Gear established by myself in 1984 uh, as a car accessory shop. We grew through alloy wheels, tires, etc. Now we're pretty much 100% exhaust or exhaust related products. But the electronic exhaust, as being fitted to Rusty uh, as we speak, <laughs> is probably the fastest growing part uh, of the exhaust business. Um, it now uh, caters for nearly 10% of uh, our exhaust sales. Wow. With the fact that there are so many more EVs uh, on the road, making electric cars more fun and safer. It gives a future to the industry. Uh, if we are going to be going down the electric car route, it gives us some exhaust to sell. So yeah, yeah enjoyable, fun, better price than they've ever been. 
to its future for my business and hopefully many others. Thanks, Steve. So I'm coming back to the Tesla after a bit of a break, see what the progress is. Putting the CAN bus, connecting it up to the Tesla as we speak. I was a bit concerned that I'd have to disconnect this rear screen to fit the exhaust uh, module. This white and green wire, which is twisted, the CAN bus wires. And the reason they're twisted is for less interference. And essentially Trevor, what he's done is those white and green wires have gone into that blue plug there. And there's very, very little room to be able to put those wires in, but that's what they were doing earlier when I couldn't really get in to do the video in. And that's been connected to the CAN bus of the vehicle to connect to the module. So the car knows what's going on. And well, the module knows what's going on and uh, it can tell it's on load, etc. So I think we're nearly there. Thor Thunder, that's what they're called, the silver exhaust speakers. So we've got two thunders and one echo. Hear the noise. Right, the module's in. Whereabouts is the module, Trevor? In under the seat, so you can just about see it just poking out there. So we need to tell it it's a Tesla. 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 So it's successfully paired. It's not a Cybertruck. Model 3, there he is, yep. Yeah, that's the one, first generation. Long range, yep, that's it. Continue. Exhaust system of your dreams. So it's recognised that it's on there. It sounds like Rusty is now a Corvette. It's a raspy number. So I need to download the electric noise, obviously but uh, that's just one little flavour of the uh, ice noises that it does, but it sounds, sounds really good. Nice. So here's the app here with all the different noises. Let me just zoom in a bit. So currently it's a Lamborghini Urus, and we can download all sorts of different noises. These are all the ice ones, but like I said, we're going to be downloading a lot of the electric ones. So you've got to be in the car when the sounds are being downloaded, um, otherwise it won't download it essentially. But there's quite there's so many different noises to download, so I'll have fun doing that. But I, need, I definitely need to get off soon, so we'll just probably play around with the ice noises on the way home, which uh, I'm sure will be quite amusing. And by the time I get home, I'll start downloading the hell out of all the other ones. Now we have a slightly different noise downloaded. It sounds quite strange. Now I haven't got the microphone outside, but that is that's pretty loud in here. That echo speaker makes a lot of difference having heard Ian's before in the previous uh, couple of previous videos that you might have seen. It does seem to be a lot crisper from that uh, extra exhaust uh, extra exhaust extra speaker exhaust speaker. Speakers are now getting hidden away. No one is to know. So the rear skid plate is now on, and as you can see, the uh, custom tailpipes that Top Gear have uh, made, which connect to the Thor exhaust, they just poke out just a little bit. I mean, if, obviously, if, if people wanted a custom exhaust coming out the side, you know, out the side there, they could do it through the, through the bumper or out the back, they can do whatever, because that's what they do best is uh, exhaust, of course, but that's, that's quite cool. Just the subtleness of the pipe. Corvette noise. I don't think I'll be doing exhaust noises too often. Maybe, maybe a few times. So after six hours of fitting, we're now there and, wait a second. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Keep tuned for a lot more.